Does everybody know each other? Tell them one thing about you. I like music. My name's Rod. I like to party. <laughs> it's pretty easy. You're a stellar musician. I think you're, we're gonna nail You guys will be the loudest. So don't screw it up. <laughs> There's so many amazing people that are in Winnipeg. Thinking about Jenna from Mobina Galore, um, she's also worked with JP. Kind of like tying all the things together. Everyone who's sort of been a guest has recorded here at Private Ear. usually just like one note. It's kind of how I So either be sitting over or under. In a lot of times you, you kind of mix it with your own vocal. Like with Jenna, like I drop my vocal right out. It sounds so sick. And then Jill guesting on Head Wound was actually really rad because we just wanted to have the Sorrells come and sing guest vocals. So then while Jill was here, Mikey was just like, oh, Jill sings on like the, the Ken Mode record. Like her voice is awesome. You should, we should see if Jill would want to sing. Unless you want to spit some hot fire on the bridge. Define hot fire. That's it. No. And originally we had we had thought about just the melodic parts, and then when I heard her sing, I would, well, like went into the booth and I was just like, what if you just tried this like most kind of like southern metal like part that we have in the bridge? Absolutely ridiculous to do a harmony on top of that. String up by a lug running. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thought it would help my string up by a lug running. We'll just play it back for you. Thought it would change my string up by a lug running. She nailed it. Like, that was in like two takes that she like crushed that vocal. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. Yeah, totally. I think my fave is that previous take. Yeah. Uh, and then using the other, the lower one is the harmony. I think on their previous record, they did a certain amount of, uh, of recording in the room together. This one we were able to capture, I'd say 75% of Liam's vocals live off the floor. Uh, we came back and addressed a couple of songs where he wanted to go a little harder and maybe just sing a couple of singing choruses a little bit better or whatever, but he got what he needed, which is pretty awesome. Uh, spittoon, gotta have a spittoon. Mm. Can't track Vox without a spittoon. I love when, you know, Liam can write something personal that he believes in, but like that I can relate to it just as much. You know, it's really tough because you don't channel your emotions in a way that like communicate to a lot of people. Like that can be hard. He can sing for five hours and get stronger and scream for five hours. And I've never met somebody that had that kind of stamina, um, which is incredible. Experience and fun. There you go, that's Liam. My worry would be in tracking beds with heavy music that the singer would burn themselves out by doing half-assed tracks. Okay, I don't have quite the energy, so I'm gonna go partially here. And what happens then is like waste of energy and kind of damage the vocals, and he can just go. See if you can get just a little sharper on Jay's been singing a ton of backing vocals too, which is really rad to hear. But I, I always felt like maybe sometimes that was a bit too buried. You can hear his voice more prominently, and I really think it's a cool contrast to what Liam does. He's always been really like straightforward and punchy. Uh, can we hit that one more time? Fuck, man. Or do you want me to listen to what no, you did? Because it did get recorded. It's fine. Right. <laughs> Liam and Jay spent a lot of time working on the vocals together. Jay might have a different range with it than Liam does. So it, maybe the harmony doesn't work if Liam's doing it with himself, but then Jay comes in underneath with a deeper texture than Liam's just because of his natural register. It sounds so thick and awesome, and it's, yeah, it's really, really cool. Everybody. Yeah, it's queen. Big thing with gang vocals is that usually it ends up being like a complete boys club, uh, which is fine, because that's just, you know, the nature of time and place. 
one of them is literally just pays, and then we'll get kind of built up to do a bit more tougher parts. For us, we really wanted the gangs on this record to represent like a cancer bat show. Like if anything, it's like 50-50, like men and women, which I think is amazing. And that's such like an important part of our band. Well, is JP coming to sing? JP's gonna come sing too. Oh. Teddy's gonna try and lose his voice. <laughs> yes. <laughs>